Plus, here's the thing that's not even in the results. All those extra years were happier years. They were happier through them all. See, what I think the nuns teach us is that our model for how we think about happiness is actually totally backwards. Most of us, myself included, kind of grew up thinking about it like this. Like, you do great work, then you have a big success, then you be happy. You know, you study really hard, then you get good grades, you get into a good school, then you're happy. Or you work really hard, then you get promoted, then you get happy. Happiness is at the end. But what the nuns teach us is that this model is actually reversed. If you be happy first, then, guess what? You have 31% higher productivity. You have 37% higher sales. You are three times more creative than your peers. And you're 40% more likely to get promoted in the next year. Kind of a big deal. All you had to do was be happy, and that's the positive outcome. Why is that? Well, think about the happy people you work with. Aren't they a little bit more productive, a little bit more creative? Aren't you happy to be around them? Well, that's why they do great work. They're more productive doing it, and then they have big success. If happiness can come at the start of the equation, if we can invest in our happiness, if we can figure out what makes us happy and then work on those things, all those positive results come later. Now. It's one thing for me to be invited here today by Robin to come sit on the stage and say, cool, everyone got that? Be happy. My work here is done. Everyone, you got it. Just be happy and then walk away. It's one thing just to say be happy. It's another thing to actually give you specific concrete ways that you can actually train your brain to be happier. I don't wake up happy every morning. I'm sorry to admit that, but it's just not true. I'm not happy every single day. But on the following five slides, if I do one or two of these exercises, I can get myself there. I've sifted through over 300 positive psychology research reports. I'd call it a labor of love, Robin, but I didn't love doing this. I was just going through all these old dusty periodicals, these old books, trying to figure out all these happiness studies, trying to bring them all together. And what I'm gonna bring for you now on the following five slides are what I call the five big super studies. Any of these studies can be done for just 20 minutes a day for just 20 days in a row to develop a new positive habit in your life. Here are the five big super studies. 